Welcome back to my Colorado Mountain Garden. Today is February 6, 2021, and it's my official day that I'm kicking off my growing season. I'm going to be planting some rosemary. Uh, if you want to plant rosemary, you just need your seeds, your soil, whatever container you're going to put it in, a spray bottle with room temperature water, and then when we we're going to be filling this up after we get them planted, so you'll need a way to put water in there. So just a measuring cup or a pitcher or whatever. If you are growing and you are on city water, you want to make sure you let your water set out for at least 24 hours so that the chlorine comes out of it or use bottled water. I'm going to move some of this out of the way and then we're going to get started. All right, we're back now. Um, what we're first going to do is we're going to put soil, and this has been sterilized, in our tray. And I'm only going to be doing one tray here, one side, and that's because there's only about 50 seeds in that package. And I'm going to be using them all because um, rosemary seeds do not germinate that well. Um, a trick you can use, you can either press it down with your thumb or you can just use another, the bottom of your other container. You can see there how it presses down. And I want to get it to where there's only about a quarter of an inch left for it to be full. And we may have to take some of this out, that's all right. If you find any bigger sticks or anything like that in your seed starting mix, you'll want to take those out. And you're just lightly pushing it down. What that's going to do, let me get this cleaned up here, is um, it takes the air out. And if you have air in your soil, um, you can get funguses and stuff like that and molds growing underneath. So basically all you're doing at that point in time is get, pushing it down enough. You don't want it super packed in there, just enough to get the, the air out. So here we go, and I'm going to be right back. I'm going to move some of this out of the way again, and we'll be right back. All right. I did also grab a bamboo skewer because I may need it to spread my seeds around. But now that we have our soil in, the first thing I'm going to do is lightly spritz it with water. And the reason why I do this is not to necessarily water the plant, but when I start putting my seeds in, because you're going to see they're very tiny, um, it'll when they hit, they'll stick in place. And again, I'm going to be using this entire uh, package of seeds. This is from My Gardener. And the seeds are really tiny. So now we're going to just evenly over all six cells, all I'm doing, I hope you can see this here, is just dropping the seeds on and, oops, hit the camera. Um, I'll try and zoom in here or hold it up once I get them in here. And again, rosemary seeds, some years I've had a total flop, some years I've had, I've never had more than 80% and some years I get 50%. If I get too many, that's fine. When I take them out, I can split the cell. And when I'm up potting, I can move them into extra pots. And then I have extras if to give to friends or to sell or whatever. So, all right. So let me bring this up here. And can you see? All right. So the next step is going to be I'm going to put a little more soil on top. And some people like to um, just leave their rosemary seeds sitting on the top, but because we're in Colorado and we don't have as much moisture and stuff like that, I like to put a little bit on, and we'll spread this around. But you can see I'm just putting, you know, we're going to be at about probably quarter inch or so. Again, just lightly tapping it down. like so all right 
And again, I'm just going to give it a quick spritz with my, just to hold that soil down just a little bit. All right, now I'm going to get my watering can out and then we're going to fill this up and I'm going to show you how to do that and where I fill it to and then what to watch for next. All right, I got my watering can. And again, this is room temperature water. You're going to put in your tray and you can see it doesn't go all the way to the bottom. So I'm going to fill it up to about halfway up the cell and then we're going to let those cells absorb for 10 to 15 minutes. Um, and then we're going to dump the rest out. So let's get that water in there. And we're going to let it absorb and we'll be back. All right, it's been about 15 minutes and you can see that the water level has gone way down. So now what you're going to do is you're going to dump that extra water out and you can tell by weight and it's dripping a little bit. That's okay. We're going to set it there and even though I don't have seeds in this tray just to kind of hold the moisture in a little bit more I'm just going to go ahead and set that empty tray in we're going to cover it with the lid and mine are going to go on the heat mat now if you haven't watched all my videos you'll know that about two and a half weeks ago I stuck my rosemary in the refrigerator um, to do a thing that's called cold stratification and I have found in the past that it's better to put it in the refrigerator for two to three weeks before planting you get a better germination rate but there have also been times when I have it's been a total flop so we're you're gonna see this as I go you learn from your mistakes if this doesn't work I'm not gonna worry about starting another pack I'll probably just buy some plants um, if I can find them this year but we're keeping our fingers crossed that and being as positive as we can that this is going to work. This is going to go on my heat mat. If you don't have a heat mat, you need to just put it in a warm place like on top of your refrigerator or in a warm room. You do not need lights until you actually have germination, meaning that the plants have started poking through. Now, mine has a vent. That vent is closed all the way. Once I start getting germination, I'm going to crack that vent a little bit. Um, because it may take a little bit longer to get some of the other ones behind it. They may not all germinate at the same time. It can take 15 to 30 days. Rosemary is an herb that you can start now and hold it indoors until um, you can plant out in late May, early June. It is a slow grower, so don't worry about it. You'll be fine. And you can watch this. You can grow along with me. Um, I'm so happy that 2021 has begun and happy gardening.